that's good for a few more. So you had uh, mentioned uh, like a week per year when the ship goes in for upgrades, and someone on Twitter had mentioned that they heard that it was going to be going in for dry dock for upgrades uh, in a few months. Do you guys get any insight into what kind of upgrades they might be doing in the dry dock, or do you like have any clout to like suggest like, hey, go freestyle machines? Better internet, better internet, better internet, better internet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the the Osterdam, if you were, if, if you were on the Westerdam, that was the uh, layout of the ship prior to the dry dock that this all went through in 2016, and that was a 65 million dollar retrofit. It opened up the disco into the gallery bar space, it created that billboard on board bar, it added cabins up on deck ten, and a bunch of other. Uh, and redid, you know, redid all the carpeting, lighted up the color scheme around the ship. Um, that was a big one. This one is apparently like a seven million dollar one, and it's going to be a, a more behind the scenes, like engine room upgrades. And uh, so I've been, uh, yeah, I met some engineers on the smoke deck. <laughs> <laughs> but we, yeah, we do keep a box of what's coming with the ship, so we can make it part of our planning process throughout the year. I don't think we have much sway over how they, how they, <laughs> they, they we, we can ask for the Coke freestyle machines, but yeah. that's yeah, not, that's have, above our pay grade. Yeah, a small portion of, uh, of their business, I think. They like us, but not that much. Not that much. <laughs>